What's up guys? So today I'm giving you a quick update on Pure Flow. All right, so if you saw my video, I got these uh, air fresheners. Here's some extra ones. Um, but I put that black one in my uh, cabin air filter in the RAV4. And uh, it's been way over a month now at this point. In fact, I filmed the video probably a week or so before I posted it. So it's been in there plenty of time. I'm happy to report that it actually works really well. Uh, it still smells. It's interesting because like when I first get in the car, I smell it. And the one I have in there, the black one, I forget the name of it, but it smells like a cologne. I know some, you know, nice men's cologne, I guess. Um, I also think it's very similar to like what black ice is. If you're familiar with the uh, little tree uh, shaped um, you know, air fresheners. But anyway, um, it still works great. When I first get in the car, I smell it initially. When you're driving for a while, you get used to it. So like if I'm in the car more than five or 10 minutes, I don't notice that I smell it at all. Now what's kind of interesting is when I first put it in there, obviously it smelled nice and strong, but when I use the heat and the, uh, you know, turn the vents on and got the air circulating and stuff, it would smell a lot stronger in the car, which makes sense because all of that scent is kind of like, you know, behind the, um, you know, the whole dashboard and stuff. And as you put it on the vents, it, it's all blown out. But now it's almost like, when I don't have the heat on is when I smell it stronger. So yeah, I mean, it definitely works. It works better than spraying cologne. Um, actually, speaking of cologne, I'm gonna have another video in the uh, the future because I have a new favorite cologne. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit. My go-to has always been uh, Chanel's Blue. That's always been my thing. I've smelled like that for years. I mean, ever since I met Christina, actually even before Christina, I had it for a couple of years. Um, and that's just been my go-to if I wanna, you know, smell nice, whatever, but uh, she got me into trying some different things, and uh, I got something else that I really like a lot, which is actually like a, a copy, I guess, of something else that's more popular, but we'll talk about that in a separate video. But uh, but yeah, these things really do work. It, it is better than actually spraying because they last longer, and the scent is actually stronger. It's nice. It's not like when I first put it in there, it's not nauseating. Like when I did the cologne, it was almost too much at the beginning, and then it would fade away pretty quickly as it dried up. Uh, but because these are physical units that are in there, I'm not sure what's actually, you know, if it's a gel or a solid that has uh, essential oil in it. I don't know exactly how this works, but the system does work very nicely. So you can see I have some uh, extra ones here. Tropical peach, which sounds really interesting and fruity. That I'm probably going to save for uh, the summer, you know, or at least spring when it gets a little warmer out. It sounds uh, nice. Um, but if for some reason the black one does run out, I'll use the fresh linen as well. And they have other scents besides these. These are just a couple of them. Um, I also have a vanilla one as well, which I didn't grab for the video. But anyway, uh, thumbs up if you happen to uh, want a air freshener that goes into your cabin air filter. Now, obviously, it's a little more complicated than just hanging an air freshener from your rearview mirror. Or in some cases, you could put air fresheners just underneath your seat. Sometimes you have like the canisters that look like, you know, cat food. You peel the top and then you put it under your seat. All those things work. They all work well. Um, but I like these. I think these are pretty cool because it's it's completely just out of sight, out of mind. And yeah, of course, the ones that go in your seat are as well. But I just feel like it's lasting longer. You know, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's mental. Maybe I, I'm just hoping it's lasting longer. But it really is. Like, I, whenever I get into the vehicle, I do smell it still. And it, the black one is particularly nice because it's not like super strong cologne. It smells nice, but it's somewhat subtle. It's just keeping the car, you know, somewhat fresher smelling instead of just stale from sitting there, you know. Um, and the couple times that we've had food in the car, like if you get like a, a pizza or, you know, any kind of strong scented food, any Italian food, or, you know, if you get, um, you know, Chinese food or something like that, you know, you get that stink that lasts in the car, you know? So if you, if you have food in the car in containers and you're driving for more than, you know, 20 minutes or something, the whole car fills with that smell. And obviously at the time you're hungry and it smells great, but the next day you jump in your car, you don't want to smell yesterday's Chinese food. You know what I mean? And that's kind of helped with that. You know, any food that we've had in the car, uh, once it's out of the car, that's it. I just smell that, that cologne type smell again, but it's subtle. It's nice. So I am happy with it. So I'm just here to report the, the update. These do work, uh, but not everyone's going to be into, you know, pulling down their uh, uh, glove box. You have to, you know, for whatever vehicle you have, it's obviously a different um, situation, whatever clips or whatever at the pull or push or something. And it's, it's always possible you can break it. So just be careful if you do get one of these and you never change your cabin air filter, which you, shame on you, you definitely should change your cabin air filter. Although, who knows, maybe your mechanic does it for you instead. Um, but it's not a big deal to me and it's really not that hard to do. It's just if you're into that, 
uh, and feel capable of <laughs> getting behind your dashboard to your cabin air filter, this is a cool option to, uh, to have your car smell nice. So that's all, just want to give you an update on it. So thanks for watching guys. If you happen to have a favorite air freshener that I need to know about, let me know. I will say that when I had my uh, Dodge Challenger, uh, when I got it from Carvana, they had these air fresheners that were like, they were cardboard and they had it, you know, saturated in whatever it is, but they were like little, little rectangles. I don't know what the brand was or anything like that. I absolutely loved the scent. I loved the smell. And they were just in the, you know, cup holders on the doors on either side. And it smelled great the entire time I had my car. And it's funny because if I ever smell that again, it'll always remind me of the Challenger. But I don't know what the names of those were, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd be showing them and talking about them because they were really good too. And I had that car for like four or five months. Um, so that's quite a, a long time for an air freshener to still be smelling great. But, uh, but yeah, if you have a, a particular style of air freshener that you use all the time and you highly recommend it, post in the comments. I'll, I'll definitely check it out. I like trying new things all the time. That's what life's about, just all these different experiences. But uh, for now, uh, this, is, this will be my go-to because I think it's really nice. And obviously, because it lasts a long time, I'm, I'm good for probably the rest of the year with just these extra two or three that I have. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.